Welcome back. Democrats are showing strong resistance throughout the confirmation process for Judge Neil Gorsuch with the promise of a filibuster. Ron, do you think that Neil Gorsuch has a clear path to the Supreme Court, even with Democrats in his way? Yes. Um, I don't think this is the battle Democrats need to fight. We lost what happened to the previous recommendation by President Obama should have gone through. I would rise above the occasion and I would give the president as my, as a, an olive branch, mm -hmm. here's, your, here's your man, here's who you want. Now come back to me and help me. Help the Democratic Party put together infrastructure, put together health care, put together tax reform, put together everything. But the way we're going, I would give it to him. I'd say, here it is. Here's my olive branch. Do you think he would take such an olive branch and actually accept it? Or do you think he'd just kind of take that branch and then go, whack, whack, whack. I'm going to beat you up with it now. I, think, I won. I think Mitch McConnell and the president <laughs> uh, would take the olive branch. Colin, what say you? Well, <clears throat> I, think, I think to some degree, and Ron, I think, hit on this was, they're they're a little bitter over what happened with uh, with Obama's um, nominee, which, as Ron said, really should have gone through, and that was very disrespectful to a president, yeah. regardless whether it was X number of days before he was coming out, and who cares about or if you didn't know what the outcome of the election was, and that was wrong. I you know I think that ultimately Gorsuch will will pass, and I don't think that they're. I think the threat of bringing in the nuclear option is much more dangerous than letting a nominee go through. And when you're dealing with when you're dealing with Supreme Court nominees, what you're hoping for is they may have a an ideology of some sort or at least a political opinion, right. but you hope that they're impartial as judges and pass judgment based on the Constitution, not on their philosophy. And I think you've gotten that with people like Roberts. Um, much to the chagrin and frustration of the Republicans, incidentally, right. because he has voted oh, against. Uh, no, not to my chagrin. I like the fact that he's, he, he votes his conscience. Well, I like the fact that he upholds his view of the Constitution and doesn't carry the Republican line. If that guy was running for something, I'd vote for him. No, absolutely, and I agree with you. I think it, those are exactly the qualities that you expect out of a, especially a Supreme uh, uh, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. So. I, I think, you know, if Gorsuch is, is as good um, technically on the, on, on the law as, as I've heard many say, I, don't, I, I think you, you just let him proceed. Yeah. Jim? I think that this whole process is nothing more and nothing less than an exercise in futility. There are a hundred senators that have all sent their staff out to do research, and if you're a Republican senator, you're going to ask them a, a question that's going to look favorable upon him. If you're a Democratic right. senator, you're going to ask him a question that you're, hope, you're hoping is going to trip him up. At the same time, you probably have 100 people on the back end coaching him, working with him, doing, doing rehearsals with him about what these Senate confirmations are all about, and they're training him to say absolutely nothing about anything. Right. So the only thing that we're going to learn here, in my opinion, is whether this guy can keep his composure over whatever the period of time that this fiasco goes on. We're not going to learn anything about him from this process. We may learn from what he's, what he's, how he's ruled in the past, but right. we're not going to learn with him sitting in front of the Senate. Just my opinion. Well, and <clears throat> you know, I think the process serves a purpose. Uh, it was put into place as a check on the executive. But what are we checking? Well, and that therein lies the problem. I think the, the process, we are more concerned about the process versus the, the result. And it becomes a political football that can be used to... And there you are. So here, here we spend another, you know, 500 hours of, of, of media time and 500 hours of Senate time on something that is fruitless. Because at the end of the day, he is going to get approved. And I think you're absolutely right, Ron. They, want, they need to pick their battles, and this is not the battle to not pick. This guy right. has too much going for him for them to say no. So, and if they do say no, they're absolutely stupid. So, so only a couple of minutes left, but real quick. 
So thoughts on Gorsuch himself as far as do you think he will be a more middle of the road, follow the Constitution judge than he will be toe the party line? When he says that no man or woman is above the law and he says that, that's exactly the way it should be. Including if, Donald Trump. Well, including Donald Trump? Yeah, inclu well, uh, including, yeah. The, no, but I mean, Donald, he, he, he more or less said that. Uh, yes, and, and when you look at right now, if the shoe was on the other foot and another president, <laughs> the other person would have became president, we don't even have to mention names, and that person was under a federal investigation, there would have been a stop placed on that person, the, the Gorsuch, even going through the process because you, can't, you couldn't appoint him because the amount of time left. Now they wouldn't have been able to appoint him because there might be an indictment on the president. That's, we don't know that. We don't. We don't know that. No, we don't. You don't think the other side would have done Thinking that? and knowing are two different things. We don't know that. We can't predict what these people will do. I think, if anything, they, their actions have, have more than confirmed that we can't predict what they're going to do next. Well, we need to have a topic on Nunez, too. <laughs> yeah. Colin? Who's going to check him in? <laughs> Last thoughts on, on Gorsuch? I think, I, and, you know, to, to your earlier question, Ken, I think that's what we hope for, is that we get an impartial person who is constitutionalist. Okay. That's, Excellent. That's my thought. Excellent. Well, up next, Fast Five. Stay tuned.